Hey Hoaxers, welcome back to a new episode of Let's make some music together We're back strong and healthy after ADE of course With a new Let's make some music together Last video you guys asked me to make a James Hype track Or you can just call it a house track But before we go into producing that track, I want to ask you guys something. I would be super happy if you subscribe to my channel and leave a like. I make videos about producing and DJing every week. You will help me out tremendous and it will mean the world to me if you do so. Now let's make some James Hype music. First things first, most of his popular tracks are interpolations from other tracks. So that means we need a good sample. And I think I got the right one. I found this sample on Tracklip and I think it's the right one to use. So to get a little bit more control, I separated the drums from the synth. And it's really easy with 3D Loops, you just click right click and then separate stems. There you have it. So as you can see... Then we need to layer it with trumpets. And I got this trumpet from Nexus. It just fills it up a little bit more. I'm also using some new drums like this. Just to emphasize the other drums that I had. Most of the time when you separate stems from a sample, it sounds a little bit meh. So what you do is then you layer it with stuff that it sounds a little bit the same. It just makes it a little bit better, you know? AI is not taking your job right now. Eventually it will take your job. So just keep in mind, you need to work with AI and befriend him and be lovers. And then after that, if they are strong enough, then you can sort of make sure that they like you and then <laughs> that they can make your career. To get, the, to get the drop going, I think it's good to use the melody of the sample. And as you can see, I used five bass lines. This is how it sounds right now. Yeah, I know it doesn't sound like it that I used five bass lines, but let me explain. So the first one sounds like this. And it has these effects on it. The second one sounds like this together with this sound and it has these effects on it the fourth one sounds like this and it has these effects on it the fifth one sounds like this and it has these effects on it yeah sorry before i forget there's also bass shots in there just to give it a little bit more groove and to emphasize some of the notes they sound like this and it has these effects on it as I have mentioned many, many, many times before, these all go to a bus channel and it has these effects on it. Eventually everything sounds like this. Now we need to pump that beat, so let's build it. Bring all those samples to a bus channel and I have these effects on it. I think it's cool right now, but I think we can all hear it needs something extra. And as I was digging to Splice, I found the perfect preset for this. Listen to this. So it's pretty easy. I added the preset in there with these effects. And then I just use the melody of the sample. We need to keep it simple, but with some variation. I think every four note has a variation. So listen to this right now. That pam pam is really cool, I think. But yeah, <laughs> that's just me. Right now we have a pretty good bass. Let's add some details to it. I found this RP thing, this RP loop, and I think it fits perfectly in this part. I told you so. Just to add some more suspense to the track, I add this ARP as well. It just adds so much with so little, you know? Let's make a little break. I think it's good to use the original sample only before the drop because otherwise it gets a little bit too chaotic, I think. We can start like this.
Adding those snares is the right choice. It's always a little bit tricky to add snares because you never know how they really sound. It just needs a little bit of that tension just to build it up towards drop. And speaking about tension, we're going to add that as well with these effects. Oh, 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 I forgot the vocal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go through splice and find a pre dorp vocal. I think this one is cool. Boom shakalaka. It's really simple, just boom shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like this in the project. Boom shakalaka. I think we got it right now. I can tell you something. This is a new track of mine, by the way. But I thought it sounded a little bit on what James Hype is making. So I thought, let's let's sort of do a breakdown on how to make that. Okay, I think the pre-save link will be in the description. Yeah, okay. Depends a little bit on when you are watching this, but the pre-save link will eventually be in the description. So let's just say this. I hope you learned something today. If you want me to make something in like a typical genre or a typical style of an artist let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a like i will see you guys next week again bye bye you need to subscribe to tim hawks on youtube or you're going to die <laughs>